it takes a lot more to harvest an animal with a bow and arrow at 20 yards than it does with a shotgun at 110 yards or whatever another state you could use a rifle at 200 yards or 300 yards. It takes a lot more to just sit up in one of these trees in 20 feet and just sit there from 4.30 in the morning till 11 o'clock in the morning and that's when the deer start to move around is in that time frame. It's been 10 years since Burlington began its bow hunting program here in the landlocked forest and select board member Joe Morandi has been running it. And 10 years ago, uh, I was told at a selectman's meeting uh, that they were going to try to disallow hunting in this area, which is called the landlocked forest in Burlington. Uh, I didn't agree with it, so I went to the meeting. I talked to the selectman at the time, and we decided that we would put together a committee of friends of the landlocked forest, myself and another gentleman named Rich Bagman. We sat for one year, almost every Thursday night, and went over rules and regulations. Morandi says the program and the hunters in it are committed to conservation. So once you get your license, it costs X amount of dollars for your hunting license. It costs more for a non-resident, and that's in every single state. Uh, the money that we do put into this goes right back to conservation. I believe it's either 40 or 45 percent. Don't quote me on that. I don't know the exact number, but it goes back into keeping this land, not this particular piece of land because it's owned by the town, but it keeps all of the state forests running. So right now we're just walking along through the woods and what we found was a tree stand. Uh, so we talked about a tree stand earlier today, that's one right there. It's a little low, uh, but at some point I'm sure we're going to get it up a little bit higher. People have no idea how involved this really is to harvest the deer. They really don't. They think you just go in the woods and go, okay, I'm going home now. That's not even close. I've sat in the woods for, I've been hunting since I've been 10. I couldn't tell you how many times I sit in a tree stand for five hours and, and see a squirrel, you know what I mean? Uh, nothing, you don't see anything. Sometimes you see a lot. I've seen a lot. I've seen two deers fight, I've seen bears fight, I've seen an eagle come out of a, come out of a tree and grab uh, a fish in a river. I've seen a lot, so it's kind of cool, you know? For B News Weekly, I'm Sydney Bowles.